British military intelligence said there is a possibility that the Russian assault on the town of Bakhmut is losing the limited momentum it had obtained. Now, this could be happening because some Russian Ministry of Defense units have been reallocated to other sectors. The Institute for the Study of War says Russian forces did not make any confirmed gains in or around Bakhmut in the past few days. The Ukrainian general staff specified that Ukrainian forces repelled Russian assaults in northern Bakhmut, likely suggesting that Russian forces are concentrating offensive operations on the northern part of the city. Russian mill bloggers also claimed that Wagner Group fighters continued assaults on the Azom industrial complex in northern Bakhmut and that they control most of the complex, although the Institute for the Study of War has not observed visual confirmation of these claims. The UK Defence Ministry assesses that the Wagner Group may lose most of its convict force in the upcoming weeks as convicts finish their six-month military contracts. In its daily intelligence update, it says thousands of Wagner convicts who were recruited during autumn 2022 will be pardoned and released. Although approximately half of the prisoners recruited have likely been killed or wounded, evidence from Russia suggests that group is following through on its promise to free survivors. Now, with Wagner now likely banned from recruiting more prisoners, this exodus will worsen its personnel problems. In addition, the sudden influx of often violent offenders with recent and often traumatic combat experience will likely present a significant challenge for Russia's wartime society. Now, the Kremlin had likely deliberately authorized the public of preemptive pardons to incentivize more Wagner convicts to leave following the expiration of their contracts to further erode the Wagner force.